Hey guys, my name is Masood. Uh, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be answering the question, should you go to a free property seminar? So, um, typically in the past few years and continuing on now, people and trainers have um, you know, presented these seminars which are free to go to, um, but they've held a lot of stigma uh, in property circles and communities. And um, rightly so, the reason why is a lot of people have been getting scammed and losing their money. Um, I personally have attended about three or four of these myself in the past couple of years and um, I just wanted to share my opinion on them today. So uh, having attended, uh, I'm not going to mention any names, but having attended uh, a few of these seminars as a beginner, I didn't know anything and I was new to property, um, I didn't know anyone. I think that these seminars offer an opportunity to meet other people who are in a similar sort of stage of uh, their career uh, in terms of investment um, and there's a good and bad side to that. However, um, these seminars, um, you know, they do provide you with a lot of value uh, but they don't particularly uh, give you the right information. They kind of, in my opinion, sugarcoat uh, the information and make it seem uh, easier than it actually is. Um, I've only invested in one deal myself so far, but that whole process, um, I used my own money. I didn't use anyone else's money, and um, which is what a lot of these courses uh, uh, encourage you to do. And I'm not saying that's, that's, that's wrong, it's, it's a good thing, but uh, within context. So uh, yeah, as I say, I've, I've learned a lot in the past or few months just by going out and doing it myself. However, the uh, message in these courses is generally, um, you know, come to our course and training, do our training, and you know, then go out and, and do your property investments. Um, however, the, the price of these training courses are like, you know, huge. Um, I don't know if you've ever been to one of these seminars, but they start at like at least two, three grand. Two, three grand and they can go up to about 25k for like a premium mastermind package where you get access to the actual trainers. But you don't really get access to the trainers, you get access to one of the trainers trainers. So anyway, uh, that's the kind of things that do tend to happen. Um, but having been to these uh, seminars myself, uh, as a beginner investor, I think it's very easy to get sucked in. Um, uh, if you have no uh, previous knowledge or experience of going to these seminars and um, experiencing uh, what actually goes on, happens on the day, uh, it's very easy to get lured in. And when it comes to the sales pitch at the end of the event, um, and you know the trainer is is telling you this is our course you're gonna get this 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 and it's this is the actual average price and this is what you're gonna get it for and uh, you know it's an amazing deal once in a lifetime you're only getting it today never again and then they might actually you know there's so many different marketing and sales tactics which happen but they might have someone in the crowd that is a part of their own team and they might choose them to tell their story whilst you're in the room and um you know this this and, and that person tends to be someone who's been on their training and has been very very successful so it's a you know perfect case study for them to project onto you and show you as a beginner this is what's possible if you come to our training now certainly, I don't want to take away from uh, any credit that they do deserve uh, because there probably is people, are people who've been onto their courses and have been very, very successful. However, a lot of people have lost money and personally, um, I'll be honest, I didn't actually have any money to actually spend on these courses. So even if I wanted to do these courses, uh, people were actually using their credit cards. I didn't even have a credit card. I just had a flipping debit card. Um, but uh, you know, when I went into these courses, I literally just finished uni and I, and I said I'm going into property, I'm, I, I want to do something. So I went into these seminars and uh, yeah, uh, I, I didn't actually have the money to go to any of these. So luckily for me, it kind of worked out. I didn't, I, didn't, um, you know, I didn't go to them. But at the time when I was at the event, I understood because I was actually educating myself about sales and, and learning what actually happens, how to influence people. I uh, observed the language, the tone of voice, the body language, um, how you know you speak to people, and generally the NLP tactics 
uh, involved as a trainer, I kind of learned these things uh, and observed the trainers talking about them during their events. And I kind of took that in. I, honestly, I think I, I admire trainers like that because that I, I find that power to influence people so cool. Uh, but if it's used in a good way, of course, not to take advantage of people, but I just find it really, really uh, like amazing. Um, however, you know, uh, majority, 99% of these events and courses and trainings are to basically, you know, uh, you know, to take your money, really. Um, they do cost a lot of money, but um, as far as the quality of the training, I think that's down to uh, the people who've actually gone. I haven't been to any of the training, so I can't actually speak for them myself. I have spoken with people who have been on the training courses, and they've told me, some people have given me mixed reviews, so I can't actually give you guys a general opinion. Um, but all I would say is, uh, I didn't actually go on, into, on any of these courses. Uh, I just read books. I actually spoke to people, went to networking events. Um, I looked at YouTube videos. I spoke to letting agents. I spoke to other investors. Uh, I spoke to developers, I spoke to mortgage brokers, I spoke to solicitors and I kind of just learned by spending my own money and actually doing it what it actually takes to make a sort of a good deal and uh, you know to, to actually go far uh, in property. Um, I've only done one deal of course, I haven't actually you know become a millionaire yet uh, so I can't tell you guys uh, what it's been like but I can definitely say in my opinion uh, I wouldn't change anything about what I've done. Um, uh, I would I would basically learn as I go, practically, and I would seek other investors who are ahead of me in the game and I'd ask them questions about how to do certain things. How can I do this better? How can I make my systems more efficient? How can I free up my time better? You know, do you have an accountant I can use? Do you have a solicitor you'd recommend? I, I'd get involved in as many property circles as I can and I'd um, take an information but I would judge it and I'd say is this correct or wrong I would make my own opinion of what people say based off my experience and knowledge that I have, I have gained over the past um, you know whatever time I've spent on it um, so yeah uh, that's what I would do um, and that's my opinion of these training courses and seminars that people do offer so if you are a new investor and you're thinking of going into property um, and, and you're thinking of going on to these seminars, I would say go to these seminars, meet other people, hear what they say, but be very objective about what they have to offer you and uh, don't, you know, uh, go all in and, and, and just be, stand a little bit backwards, look at the big picture, look at what's happening, look at how much is being charged and can you actually quantify the value of what they're saying is actually worth what it is. Uh, in your head. If you can't, then speak to other people who have actually paid for the course and what do they think. Or speak to other investors who you'd uh, like to be like and see what they had to say about it. Then make a decision about whether you're going to invest and go into the training course. So yeah, that's what I think about these courses. Um, but um, uh, if you had a, a general opinion and you wanted to share it, don't forget you can always comment down below. Uh, other than that guys, I hope you enjoyed my, uh, my video today. Make sure you like it and don't forget to stay tuned and subscribe. Thank you.